If you've been around Drupal site building for very long, you've probably come across a module or two that's become deprecated. That means you can't use it anymore. Now, the problem with that is if it's a support module for one you really want to use, well, you've got a problem. Now, it doesn't happen all that often, but it happened with the module that we installed in our last video, Bootstrap Layout. One of the modules that supports that module has become deprecated and we need to get rid of it. Well, there's already a fix and it's called a patch. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. What on earth is a patch and what do you do with it? When something needs to be updated or replaced and it's not ready to be committed to the final version, then we have a patch. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Bootstrap Layout Builder with the fix that's already been created, but it requires a couple of patches. If you've never done this before, this is a super helpful video because guarantee at some point you'll need to. All right, let's dive in. I'm over here at the site where I installed Bootstrap Layout Builder in the last video. And as you can see, Media Library Theme Reset has been deprecated, is no longer supported, and it needs to be removed. Well, of course, over at the Bootstrap Layout Builder page, there's an issue, and I'm at number 19. There's a lot of conversation about this one because Bootstrap Layout Builder, of course, is pretty important. And to fix this is not the easiest patch you've ever done. So this is actually a pretty good example that's a little bit more complex that we're going to dive into. There is a replacement module. It's called Layout Builder iframe modal, but you can't just install it and use it because you still have to get rid of the one that is now deprecated. So here are the steps. One, you will install Layout Builder iframe modal, and then add this diff from the issue in your composer.json file. If you've never edited that, and lots of site builders have never edited it, I'm gonna take you through it step by step. You'll then type composer install, and that will install this diff. Then you'll apply this patch. This patch is Again, all of the code that is fixed to in order to get rid of the deprecated module and start to use iframe modal. You'll then require bootstrap styles, even if you've already got it installed. Then you'll enable layout builder iframe modal. And by that point, you should be able to uninstall media library theme reset. There's a step after that to configure that module so it works properly, but we'll show you that as well. All right, well, let's get ready. I'm gonna head over to my ddev at gitpod.io. This is how we teach all of our students. And I'm gonna copy that first composer command, composer require. And that's installed iframe modal. The next step, and again, it's super important whenever you're looking at any of these issues in Drupal, that you follow the steps completely step by step because that's what really works. There's a really fantastic blog post over here at the link on the screen, and it gives you step by step how to apply a patch. The first thing you have to do is install Composer Require and this particular set of libraries in order to make patches work in Drupal. It's really simple to do. Copy. paste that in, and it will install that Composer library. It's going to ask you, are you sure? Because this is outside of typical Drupal. You're going to say yes, and it's done. Now that we've got the Composer patch requirement installed, we can go ahead and add this first patch to our composer.json file. Go ahead and copy it, and then head back over, open composer.json, and scroll down Mine's line 56, yours might be different, until you find the extra section. Everything goes in here. At the end of that line, go ahead and hit enter for a new line. Type the word patches in double quotes, colon, and then another curly bracket. That's going to open up this section where we can now paste that code in. You'll note that there is two open curly brackets here. So we need two closing curly brackets here. And because 
this is not the end of the extra section, you'll need to put a comma at the end of that second curly bracket. Now back to the instructions. The next step is to type composer install. Make sure you've got your composer.json file saved and type. If you're in DDEV, DDEV composer install. Oh, we've got an error. Okay, the error here is that comma at the end of the first patch. There shouldn't be one there. That is the end of the patch section. Now we can try that again. And there we are. Our command worked this time. The next step then is to add this second patch. Copy it. Paste it. Now we do need to put that comma back in. Paste that in. And then remove that last comma. Again, you can't have a comma at the end of a section. You need commas between patches. Once again, checking the command here, we're then going to go ahead and compose a require bootstrap styles. Now, even if you have bootstrap styles already installed, go ahead and put that command in. And there we are. And finally, enable layout builder iframe modal with drush. DDEV drush. Now, typically, when a patch needs to remove a module, I go and check in the UI first. And all of these are, of course, different. You'll always want to follow the instructions in the issue queue to get this done right. So let's head over to our site and click on Extend. And iframe should be enabled. Of course, it is. Let's go to Extend Uninstall. And now Media Library Theme Reset can be uninstalled. The grayed out box is gone and we are ready to go. In the issue here, it provides the drush command, which you can use. Or of course, you could just click in the uninstall section. If this didn't work, you'd get a warning that it's going to uninstall Bootstrap Styles, Bootstrap Layout Builder, and others. If you get that warning, stop right there and double check your code. Now that it's uninstalled, if I head back over and go to reports and available updates, it's gone and we should be good to go. There is one configuration you'll want to do. Configure, content authoring, iframe modal settings. You're gonna to wanna to uncheck configure section, add section and add block because there's some serious CSS issues and that will take care of it. And I click save and just to double check that everything's working, I'm gonna click layout, add a section, two column bootstrap, add section and add a basic layer. And there we are, everything's working and I have no more deprecated modules. So of course, this is pretty serious. You can't run a Drupal site with deprecated modules. And until the module developer pulls the trigger and makes that part of their module, you are stuck patching. Like I said, if you've not experienced this before as a Drupal site builder, don't worry, you will. And if you followed our instructions in the last video and installed Bootstrap Layout Builder, well then this is a must do. I hope that's been helpful. There are always instructions about the patches required to fix any issue in Drupal. I encourage you to make sure you read the instructions and do what it tells you. Well, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. We release new videos almost every week. We'll see you next time.